Haley Bright from CoinOp TV here at DesignerCon 2009, where you can find really cool stuff like this t-shirt right here. caught up with Greg Simpkins, artist who's here promoting a bunch of new stuff. Can you tell me what you guys are promoting today? Well, right now we're uh, working on a new I'm Scared line, uh -huh. um, which is promoting uh, my I'm Scared website, which I've had for the past like seven years, which is where I showcase all my artwork. And so here's a couple of like, t-shirt I did for uh, my buddy Def did one for uh, To Die For, who's producing the uh -huh. I'm Scared line. And I've worked with these guys for years and they're awesome. Hey guys, I caught up with Joe Ledbetter, toy designer, and apparently he has a new toy that just released today. Can you tell me about the new toy? Yeah, the new toy is uh, Terra and Magnus, and um, it's my limited edition version of Terra and Magnus, uh, limited edition to 99. Well, this is Terra, he's, he's the Griffin character, uh -huh. and this is his, his sidekick, uh, Magnus. And um, yeah, they're just kind of this dynamic duo. Uh, what inspired you to create them? Well, they're kind of reoccurring characters in my artwork, uh -huh. so um, I paint a lot, and I paint a lot of characters, and and different scenarios and different kinds of creatures and these guys kind of pop up now and then and I you know I thought it'd be great to work with the loyal subjects and uh, I'm sorry and then you know make these into 3D. I was lucky enough to catch up with toy designer James McCullough and find out what are the latest toys he's working on. Can you tell me about this toy right here? Sure this is uh, I call this my Mobi. It's like the statues that they found on uh, Easter Island. Uh -huh. uh, it's like if somebody t were to take one of those and turn it into a badass tank. All right, can you tell me about some of these little creatures down here? Okay, I got Captain Rotten Claw right here, who's a pirate character I, uh -huh. I, I made. I did the painting of him, so... I heard this guy glows in the dark. He does glow in the dark. So this is the first Dunny, well, only Dunny I ever did, so for Series 3. And that was like the chase one, one of the, the glow-in-the-dark ones. Also, so a lot of your artwork has really hard lines, and then, but the art designs are like colorful, fun characters. Can you tell me how you came up with that concept? Um, I don't know, it's kind of just the way I work, the, you know, and it's kind of what I'm, in a way I'm trying to present too. Mm -hmm. I mean, kind of a mix between, a lot of people say cute but creepy, <laughs> colorful but tough, I don't, you know, different kind of a dichotomy of, you know, visual themes, I guess. Um, it's just a habit, I don't know. Tell me about all these really cool toys. Okay, well this is a wacky guy, I call it Secret Agent Moon. Um, it's kind of like if uh, James Bond uh, were crashed in the head with uh, uh, a crater, moon crater. <laughs> yeah, he kind of has no head. Yeah. And what about this guy? And this, I call it Geta Musha, and his face comes right out there. Whoops. His face pops out, whoops, you might want to cut that, I don't know. <laughs> did you enjoy working in the video game market, and why did you leave? I loved it. The hours are kind of crazy, and I had the opportunity to pursue just painting my own stuff and not just doing backgrounds for video games, and had to take it. This is like my dream was just to paint, and I, now I paint full time, have my own studio, I'm able to support my family and stuff, so it's amazing. Yeah, this is, I call this Zero Soul. Um, it's basically a, you know, kind of hooded uh, ghoulie in a, in a robe, and um, kind of his face is sort of mask-like and, and his eyes are all empty so that uh, he just kind of looks like there's nothing in there, there's you know, zero soul is the, the idea. So like all these characters here, you know, toys and everything that you design, animals seem to be a big part of it. Is there a reason for that? Yeah, I was a huge animal nerd growing up. Like, I took animal care classes, I worked at a kennel, I was going to be a veterinarian, so it's like... I don't know what it was. I was just obsessed with Animal Planet, or back then it was just like nature shows, like on PBS. But it, it seemed like I, I could still draw them and paint them. I didn't have to like like yeah. cut them open and work on them. So I don't know. It just transferred over, and I, I've been drawing ever since I was a little kid, and it just makes sense. That was a blast. All right, guys, that wraps it up for DesignerCon 2009. I'm Haley Bright for CoinOp TV. We'll see you guys next time.